period. So this could just be the ticket to uh, sail them into the lead and hopefully hold on to that. McNulty already one goal in the game. Passes this one across. Throw in for McNulty again. Quick shot in front and he gets it to Sanford King. And there's King with the goal. Gets up ahead for Henry. Henry just fires this one up ahead for Sanford King. King with another shot and there it is. Goal low on the glove hand side. Sanford King gets his second of the night. And 3-1 now the score. It's caught up in the skates. Appleyard with it, gets checked off, thrown in front, and there's a shot and goal from the Manitoba Bisons as uh, Taylor Dickon able to get that one in. My math is correct, uh, under 50 seconds, they were able to get that goal and get within one again. And here they come on the attack again, right in front, loose puck, waits for it, and with the patience, that's number 29, Dustin uh, Brewer. Check. Now loose puck in front, Gore comes out of his net, Forces his man to jump over him, and a loose puck comes along the sideboards, and Cougars lucky that that one didn't end up in the back of the net. And there it is! Speaking of back of the net, Dylan McKinley scores, is able to beat Dumick on a dandy, and uh, there it is. Cougars back in the lead, 4-3, with 6.53 to go in this third. You can't help but think that that play started out with Lucas Gore storming out of his net to poke that puck away from a potential breakaway for the Bisons. Sends in Henry. Puck comes out for foul, and there it is. Fowley finds back of the net on a giveaway from the Bisons. 